Everyone in Kenya eats Milani. Everyone. It's our national meal. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl if you are Kimora here. If you are old here, I really appreciate you for coming back. And if today is your first time clicking on my video, I appreciate you as well. But please kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more of such interesting and informative content. So in today's episode in my Kenyan series, I would like to share with you my cultural shocks here in Kenya uh, shocks not really like I'm shocked seeing it or like things I'm seeing for the first time things I'm knowing for the first time and things I'm hearing for the first time or things that are not similar to what I already know in my country or where I have been to like these things that I'm going to share with you they are not really really shocked like it's going to shock you to death but things that actually you have to know about kenya yeah if you are somewhere else you don't know about kenya and want to know these things or if you are traveling here you might yeah need these things as well so let's get right into the video i have hanged some things down and i'm going to share with you first of all let's talk okay the first thing i saw was uh the city of nairobi when i first arrived and then going to my lodging place like i knew kenya is oh, i've heard no i knew i've heard kenya is very beautiful but seeing it to myself i was like wow this is so impressive like the place looks so beautiful like i don't know i was it didn't shock me but i was impressed about the place the place looks so beautiful as you can see over there then my next shock too was mm, their driving style uh, why is the car going this way and this one going that way yeah i knew i've been seeing this kind of driving style in the movies but I, i've never seen like this so what i mean is in ghana or in most of like west african countries the driver will be at the left yeah the driver will be at the left side and then we will be using the like the road if you are going this way you'll be used if the road is slightly so you'll be using this road to go you get it if the roads are like this you'll be using this one to go and those coming will be using this one to come you get it but here uh, I never knew something like this in Africa until I came to Eastern or East Africa. The driver is on the right. <laughs> when my friend came to pick me, I was going to, she was like, go to the other side. I didn't get here. But when I, she told me that this is different. Oh, so, oh, okay. So the driver is on the right. And then there, <laughs> the second part is that uh, I never knew kenyans love flowers that much so my first when i when i first arrived my friend took me out for a movie night and someone was celebrating her birthday she shared flowers i was like what who, who, who shared flowers because me i'm not used to flowers and that was my first time like receiving flowers for real like they share real flowers like not plastic flowers and then my friend told me that uh, Kenya is one of the countries that produces flowers and they even export flowers outside the country so that was when I got that oh yeah that's why Kenyans love flowers yeah because me where I come from all the friends I am mingling with in the place I've been we are not used to flowers that much is it that you do it money or you make it like food or something else like flowers is it my thing but I was so so appreciative to receiving flowers on that day it was someone's birthday then she shared flowers and the uh, my second shocked or things that i i've heard like i was told kenyans 
bury or they do funeral right on weekdays like monday tuesday wednesday thursday like mostly tuesdays thursday like those days you get it they do barrier service on that day i've not i've not really seen it like i arrived on saturday and the place was so busy and i told my friend that, oh maybe it's because of a sunday a saturday they are going for funeral service or wedding or other thing and because that's how it is in ghana most especially kumasi where i am saturday's funeral saturday's are for funeral is a very big occasion and also for weddings and she told me that no mostly funerals or dead bodies or like burial service goes on or happened on weekdays like tuesdays and i was like how how are you going to go and she's like if you if you have a burial service you seek permission from your boss when you're like at work and yeah you'll be granted that permission i was oh okay i didn't know then i uh, let's move on to the next one rent i heard kenyans pay rent every month and i i came to clarify it or it was confirmed when i i came here my friend told me that here they pay rent every month like monthly in ghana the minimum you will get is six months the, the the landlord can take you two years straight like you are renting the house like today today the landlord would take if the room is thousand so thousand times two years or one month sorry one year so 24 so you are paying 24 thousand like ready cash if he or she is going to give you some choice give you like maybe pay half of that two years then maybe in one month's time add the rest or in three months time add the rest so they're going to take you straight cash or straight however they are going to pay it do you get it but here they say they pay it every month every month no matter how how the room is or how the place is, is in the country then it then comes to impesa so here in kenya if you if you want to buy something have to you can pay it in in pesa like i went to the giraffe like some places don't take cash <laughs> i was like wow some sites or some places they don't take cash they take in pesa in pesa it's like when you are in ghana like a mobile money yeah it's a mobile money transfer something like mtn to go cash it's all to get whatever cash yeah with a phone cash that's yes it's in pesa and everybody even like a motor rider, someone selling on the street tomatoes, like everybody accepts in Pesa or take in Pesa. Like it's kind of even in the trotro, the public transport that takes short shots, they will have the ATO number printed or pasted on the window. They call it Matatu. They will print it and then paste it on the what they call it window. So when you pay, you just show it to the maid, sorry i've paid like anywhere they use in person everything like so if you are to stay here for months it's very very advisable for you to get that in person or register the in person thing because it's what they are using everybody even in the villages they accept in person yeah that is the common way of trans doing a transaction yeah so that is it me my friend has been helping me out so uh, I didn't really have to register or maybe when I go out and that person don't take in pesa the person I'm working with will pay in pesa then I'll give the person cash they get it then the next one is do you know something they don't they don't do polythene bags here in Kenya so yeah when you buy something on the street you have to go and buy your own like paper bag or rubber bag <laughs> like they put it in your hands like that so you have to yeah. go and buy this one this one is 20 20 shillings 20 shillings like if you buy something they don't give you anything i bought something with my tour guide in nairobi then they just it was this woody thing they just gave it to us like that so you have to go and buy some uh, the, the rubber bag or the paper bag yourself and then put it because it's costly the one selling the things will not give you anything you just put it in your hand here, in, where I'm coming from, wherever the, whatever that you buy, they're going to give you polythene bags to put it in. They say they've banned polythene bags here in Kenya. So you buy the thing, you get yourself some rubber bag, or you go along with a rubber bag, you just put it in like that. Okay, that's very interesting. So 
you will not see rubbish that much is yeah it's hardly for me to see uh, rubbish so now let's go to they have their roads Charlie Nairobi I just arrived here I'm in Mombasa right now I just arrived here in Mombasa yesterday it was night the road I used wasn't that good like it's 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 not in its good shape totally i think they are doing some construction in other way but in nairobi nairobi is having good roads it's having like most of their roads are like most of them are very good they have good 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 like i was impressed about it and they have expressway and the normal way so if you want to go express that is the highway you have to pay for it. it's not a highway like they have a, a particular way that you have to go <laughs> i don't know you have to go if you want it like if you're in a hurry you go that way and you have to pay extra or like you have to pay for using that particular road and it's calculated according to distance so you register where you enter then at the end you pay it over there wow that is interesting if you're in a hurry you use a particular road if you are not you now you, you don't want to you, you don't have money to pay for the express you just have to join the traffic to go and then here in kenya well, i asked my friend why here i've not been hearing you see the no hooting sign behind me you don't hoot like that you don't do pee 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 like that i've not been seeing that even if it is like it's not like i barely see it pee, 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 pee. no like as it is in some places that i know like what is where i'm from like pee, 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 pee. even the matatu that they are like the trot trot for short distance or the public buses they don't do pee, pee, pow, pee, pee. no 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 they, they move slower so that they can <laughs> so that where are they going where are they going? They're probably going to watch football or something. If you see them rowdy like this, it's probably a football match. Oh, okay. And I asked my friend and he was like, no, here they are, they are not used to. You even go to a particular area or like some estates, they, will, they, will, they have this inscription, no hooting here. Like no pee pee pee, no pop pop pop, no. So I'm yet to find out it's here in Mombasa if there is pee pee pee, pop pop pop, like that here. And also the weather, the weather is weathering in Nairobi. I've been seeing, I've been hearing Nairobi is cold. But I didn't know like you have to put on even sweater in this, in the, in the sunny day. Yeah, the place is very, very cold. And what I noticed is that in Nairobi, most of them don't have ceiling fans or they don't have even, they don't even have a hook for a ceiling fan area in their room where i am no ceiling fan or no air condition the shops that i went i went where i went to do my hair my nails no ceiling fan no air condition it was just the one who be fixing your nails who is having like a short standing fan fixed on the wall that is a small one yeah directed to him or her the weather is cold very cold in nairobi so if you are traveling to kenya nairobi you have to take your hoodie buy a hoodie because the place is damn cold and put like you yeah, have to cover your body because the place is cold and my friend says it can go way way low to 10 degrees 8 degrees you get it and i i heard on the mount kenya even where well, i wanted to go there like there's a place you can stand and see mount kenya i went there but it wasn't available for seeing at that particular time and they say snow falls on that particular mountain called mountain kenya and also do you know that the weather here in mombasa is hotter or like it's hot like it's a hot weather the weather is hot I'm yet to go out and I've not been out but when coming here I felt that the weather here in Mombasa is quite hot than the one in Nairobi uh, yeah Nairobi I'm back from my Mombasa city tour and what I noticed is that or I confirmed that Mombasa is hot Nairobi is cold they say even this weather is 
it's cold here so it could be hotter than this and also three quarter of the population of Mombasa is Muslims so there there are a lot of Muslims you can see but one quarter of the population of Nairobi is Muslims and three quarter is Christians yeah so there are specific places that you will see Muslims in Nairobi but here in Mombasa everywhere you will see Muslims here because the Arab the Arab people from Oman or uh, colonize them yeah something like that that's what I learned from the false Jesus so we are back in Ghana and I'm here to continue my cultural shop in Kenya I have some few things listed down and let's go through first of all I would like to talk about their security check and uh, what I noticed is that in Nairobi going to the train that's the train terminus so when entering you go through a series of checking first of all you they will check you personally your body and then you put your bag down they have soldiers with security dogs checking bags okay you go through several security check and at the airport too there was a thorough security check they will have trained dogs to smell your bags and other things and then they will check you before you even enter the main entrance but in ghana that wasn't like that actually this is my first flight so i've not noticed the other places other countries as well but in ghana that wasn't it you just go through the departure entrance like that but with this one when i was coming back going through the departure gate you have to check you with dog security they'll check you before you even go through and the second of all when arriving in nairobi that is the jumbo kenyatta airport i didn't know or i didn't see how big the airport is until departing like until coming back to ghana the airport is very big when i say very big in terms of land area like from the departure area like you have to drive miles kilo miles kilo miles miles kilometers i also come to that one you have to drive like for a while before you get to the the main airport like the land area is very very big very big and it's far from the city it's not like the accra international airport which is in the city center yeah then we move on to air condition I didn't see a single air condition in Nairobi city no and even like as I said as I said previously fun like the weather is always like low like the highest is 18 like 18 degrees Celsius or the lowest let's say the lowest or the highest they are like yeah something like that it's 18 degrees it can go down 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 to 15 yeah the 15 is the lowest i saw 15 degrees and when we are coming we got to accra around 3 a.m the weather was 25 around 4 a.m it was 25 degrees even in nairobi during daytime like in the afternoon it can be like 18 degrees why is some place so cold and some place so hot why why another thing i noticed is that in kenya they mostly use the kilometers they'll be like we say how many distances from this side to this side the person will be like oh 20 kilometers 10 kilometers me i'm not used to that kilometers me i'll be like three hours <laughs> and the guy in my my tour guide in mombasa will be like if you are telling me it will take you three hours let's say three hours from cape coast to accra what if i can use two hours to get to cape coast what if i can use six hours to get to cape coast they use the kilometers more than the hours and also in terms of food varieties of food i would say ghana is having more varieties when it comes to food like main dish the only food that the only main food that i tried in nairobi is ugali and also i tried rice 
in Mombasa. Yeah, I also tried rice in Nairobi. So these are the main dish, main yeah, the two main dish I tried in Nairobi and in Mombasa, like throughout my stay. So if there are other food that I don't know, but when it comes to West Africa or like in uh, Ghana, where I know most. We have bankun, fufu, abitie, ampesie, diyoku, mutuo, like wache, gobe. Like we have variety of main dish. We, we eat food, but then they eat like small, small portion, small portion of food, small portion. And they like fries. Even when you're eating fries, like maybe you're not feeling hungry, I like want to eat fries. Well, uh, get it. Especially where I'm coming from, like the average, average Ghanaian. We want food to eat. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I noticed that we have varieties when it comes to food from what I saw. So if you also know other food and also the ugali is like banku. They didn't or I didn't eat ugali with like full soup or stew. Like you eat it with meat, with fish. Like it doesn't have like give me soup to eat with ugali, give me stew to eat with ugali they will eat it with the meat yeah in mombasa they gave me so the ugali came with choma i don't know there's no sauce but they say i should go for sauce yeah this is what pepper not this one is tomato sauce and where is pepper and then this one is pepper 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 so pepper. i should put it on like this if you're a fan of pepper you can do that yeah Choma with ugali and I ask, and I asked where is the stew to accompany the ugali with it's like I should eat the ugali with the choma the choma is like chichinga like roasted meat how am I going to eat this hard ugali with just meat you have to give me something like soup something like stew like something something wet to eat the ugali ugali with so these are the few things i noticed and some two were just random and like oh so in uh, in in kenya you hardly see somebody putting on cloth like in ghana or in west africa here cloth is something like you see people but then you see them putting on hoodie winter jacket because of the weather and that so this is all that i i saw or i noticed which which was quite different new and also just kind of shock like in all this way the differences the similarities and like i learned a lot from these the similarities and the differences a lot in kenya if you have anything you can leave that in the comment section something that you've, you've also noticed from kenya you can also add that in the comment section you get it so thank you for watching until meet again in my next video is a girl if you are kimura here i love you and bye, -bye.